Szanowni Ladies and gentlemen, welcome after a short break, which turned into a longer break. Unfortunately, we had some technical issues, but we are ready. Klementyna Suchanow is with us, editor, translator, political activist, active in the Polish women's strike. The author of the book, This is War, Women, Fundamentalists and New uh, Middle Ages and the biography of Witold Gombrowicz, Me, the Genius. Uh, she was nominated for the Nika Award. The, con the conversation will be chaired by Marta Zdanowska, who uh, represents Łódzki Szlak Kobiet. The floor is yours. Good evening. Welcome, Clementina. We had some technical problems, so we have uh, less, time, but less time, but I'll try to be brief and ask uh, the first question immediately. I will use your biography first. December 2017, arrested after throwing eggs onto the limos, leaving the president's uh, um, the president's castle after Morawiecki was designated for the prime minister. Uh, then she uh, wrote, uh, she sprayed the slogan "Time for uh, for the judgment, for final judgment, uh, and the world fuck off." Uh, in July, under the president's palace, uh, she uh, suffered a severe uh, backbone injury after which she had to be operated on. And this is what was caused by the Polish police. This is uh, the part of your biography before the uh, Polish women's strike. I would like to ask you a simple question. How come that uh, you turn from an editor, a translator, uh, that you go to the street and are no longer afraid? I'm terribly sorry, we do have some technical problems with the sound and I'm not able to hear the speaker, so I'm afraid I'm not able to provide the interpretation. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. I do have a favor. Could you please put your uh, headphones on because we do have some technical problems. Well, I, I can hear a stereo sound now, but uh, if it's better for you, then we'll, tr we'll try. OK, so let's uh, keep calm and carry on. Uh, Polish women's strike, the beginning of the great movement of uh, women all over Poland, from Warsaw to Zgorzelec, from Rzeszów to small towns. Uh, from the 22nd of October, when Julia Przyłębska announced uh, the statement, day after day, going uh, on strikes, uh, marches, it looked different in different cities. What comes next? We are much further in the process, but what is going to happen next? Which way it is going to follow? What is the uh, Polish women's strike going to, to do? What uh, prospects do you see uh, in the future? Because this is the moment when it's all starting to be difficult for us all. Well, you're right, but I'm not uh, able to uh, change it. Every process has some stages and it's not going to be uh, immediate victory, that we are not going to win this battle overnight. Uh, definitely this, uh, this time border will be shifted and uh, we are uh, going to, uh, to, to witness it and to be in this process. We do not uh, feel safe in the pandemic and we also feel that we are not going to achieve much. But now 
This is not the process organized by Polish women's strike. People get organized themselves. It all started uh, with women. We gave the signal. But people in the street respond to the current situation. People in the street have their own demands, uh, which are independent of us. Different social groups join us. And these are groups who would never join the crazy feminists. Now we go hand in hand. We can have a vision. We can have an agenda. But all in all, it will depend on human energy and determination, whether we are going to achieve what we all uh, talk about. This is the F word. I can only say what we do as um, the Polish uh, women's strike. And now our office is uh, has been uh, redecorated. This is a difficult situation for us because first the pandemic uh, struck, uh, so a limited group of women were available for the initial uh, action. This was an, an extreme physical experience. There was uh, an, an idea was born to create a council, a board for discussing the issues and uh, the demands shouted out in the street. The first uh, effects have already been seen. Most probably in a few days time we will be ready to announce it in public. Today I, I participated in a meeting of a group dealing with education and I can say we had uh, there were lots of good ideas and these are the ideas which can be implemented even now. These are simple shifts, uh, simple uh, solutions that will make our lives easier. Do we hope they are going to fulfill this vision? We are also going to start uh, a dialogue with trade unions to see whether we are going to um, speak together. We'll see whether we are going to do something together. The first results are also positive, but the COVID situation will not promote uh, organizing a regular strike. So we'll have to invent new forms of going on strike, which will satisfy uh, different uh, professional groups, different uh, people, different group, so, uh, social groups. So we want to uh, redistribute the battlefields into different areas. There are specific demands related to the pandemic uh, situation of many employees. And we'll think about uh, the things to come. Yes, you're absolutely right. The pandemic uh, um, is uh, also affects women's life. These are women who have to help their children during remote learning. Women often lose uh, their work. They also have to deal with household chores. Uh, I wanted to ask you to express uh, support. Elżbieta Podleśna, who also participated in uh, uh, strikes, she said, all right, we have Warsaw and it is quite easy to do things in Warsaw, but there are some small towns. Uh, she mentioned Wodawa, where uh, Everybody knows one another. There are three major employers, uh, three big plants, and that's it. When you go to the street and participate in such undertakings, is extremely difficult. What would you say to the women, to the girls from small towns who decide to take things into their hands, but they also risk being made abandoned? I don't know what I can tell to them, I can only admire 
what they do. I also come from a small town, so I am fully aware of what uh, oppressive local society is. I don't know what what to what to tell to them. This is a bad situation. I think about single mothers who have uh, lots of uh, reasons to be dissatisfied, who would like to protest, but they have no opportunity to do so. When I go uh, to protest, uh, I, I feel that I represent them. It may sound bad what I'm saying, but I I used to be in a similar situation when I was not able to do what I'm doing now. Now I feel this power, but we can be courageous in different ways. We can be courageous uh, in different situations at work when you are moving or pushing the borders, when you demand being treated fairly, even when you bring up your child, you can start doing it in a different way. It is important how you bring up your son, how you bring bring up boys. We do not have similar prospects for girls and boys. Very often they can be disappointed. Uh, feel bitterness, feel sadness. We can do different things. We don't have to go to, to the streets to participate in the protest. This is a very interesting uh, uh, aspect which you have just mentioned, bringing up uh, young men, bringing up boys. They do not have uh, the example to follow. We can see them very often uh, pro in in the marches that they when they join the confederation and they dream about great Poland. In uh, your book, this is war. You wrote that all these movements which we can see in Poland and such ones as uh, Ordo Iuris. In, but uh, also some nationalist um, groups form a part of global history, which is about uh, introducing religious fundamentalism. These are rightist narratives which uh, penetrate into our life very, very strongly. After reading your book, I have an impression that you predicted what would happen in Poland. That this, I, I refer here to the limitation of uh, women's rights. And the question which I would like to ask you now, don't you feel that perhaps this is the way of uh, predicting what would happen? But you're also a whistleblower who mentions what would happen in the world. Do you perceive yourself as a whistleblower? Definitely not. I simply studied and analyzed what they were saying. It was only a matter of time uh, until it emerged uh, in Poland. But this is uh, only a part of the unpleasant to-do list they have. It is about uh, the abortion law and so on and so forth. I don't feel uh, as if I was a fortune teller or a kind of oracle. Uh, it, everything was based on analyzing their plans and their motives. Hackers were uh, those who predicted certain trends, uh, Ukrainian hackers who call themselves hacktivists think they are the soldiers uh, 
fighting in the war with Russia. They publish their content in social media, so it is uh, it suffices to to find their uh, messages and to analyze it uh, patiently. It was also possible to read some emails of the officials. I, I simply realized I needed to hurry up to make people aware what was happening. Unfortunately, since we have uh, only a little time left, I would like to ask you a question which is related to new things. Legal abortion without compromise. Uh, the establishment of uh, a committee including uh, the Polish women's strike, uh, girls for girls, Dziewuchom. Uh, Federation for uh, Women uh, and uh, Human uh, Protection. The objective is to collect 100 signatures uh, for the uh, civic uh, project. Do you think you're, it is going to be successful? I know that this is the question you can always ask, but I should ask, is it possible to make it happen? We should not uh, limit uh, a compromise, which is, which is actually not a compromise, because uh, it will mean a nightmare. I don't know if uh, we are going to succeed, or perhaps I should say, uh, I don't know if we are going to succeed now. We live in a parallel world where with uh, the old ideas how to communicate with the citizens but on the other hand we have a 21st century society of young people who want to follow a completely different direction so if i were to r reach a certain result I would say that the power of young people, the progressive power, is going to win with those who, historically speaking, will have to die. I'm sure it is going to happen one day. Let me explain one more thing. For us, as the Polish women's strike, it became clear four years ago that we can only uh, move towards liberalization and not stick to the compromise. Some years ago, when there, were, uh, there was an idea to punish for abortion, there were lots of uh, uh, discussions on whether the compromise was all right. After some time, after listening to all the arguments, uh, it became clear to uh, us from the Polish women's strike that liberalization is the only solution, as it offers the only way to respect a woman and to grant her the right to decide uh, about her freedom and her body. Now we are going to face this uh, question again, whether this is uh, which way we should follow. But these are natural discussions. Polish women's strike um, um, explained it clearly and discussed it, and now is the time for the society. I deeply believe that one day we are going to live in a normal country uh, where uh, you can uh, feel safe uh, regardless of your sexual orientation, and women have full right to uh, use their uh, to use their rights. Clementina, thank you very much for this conversation, and uh, I would like to thank you that the Polish women's strike exists. I would like to greet you from Łódź, where women are uh, the power. There are lots of women, uh, strong women here. Thank you very much. So, uh, I do apologize for the technical inconveniences. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Uh, greetings from Watch once again. And uh, just in a moment, we are going to have uh, 
a meeting with Anne Applebaum, who is going to talk about the transatlantic relations after the U.S.